Hello everyone, this is Tyler and I'm here with my best friend Liz. What's up? And we are starting our uh, a new Let's Play. We ran into some problems with PlayStation um, involving our previous Let's Play in the Sly Cooper series. We will be going back to it, but with PlayStation getting ready to roll out their new um, PlayStation memberships, um, it looks like that is not going to be an option for a while. So after some deliberating, we decided to go with SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Um, it's a game <coughs> I've never really played before, um, but have started and stopped multiple times. So uh, using this as a good excuse to play through it and uh, see what my thoughts are. Hold himself accountable is more like it. And let's start our new game. SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob. Square. You know, I had a, hack, a science teacher in middle school who absolutely loved Spongebob. Uh, my uncle, my uncle Mike, uh, my late uncle Mike, loved Spongebob. Uh, two things he absolutely loved. Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine and Spongebob Squarepants. Um, he had a whole room dedicated to Spongebob. Okay, that's a little creepy. Well, like, he, uh, they collected things. My aunt... Uh, my Aunt Sue collected teapots. Um, and he collected Thomas the Tank Engine until the first time he saw the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, he then fell in love with SpongeBob SquarePants. Mm. And so um, then his entire room, one of the rooms, it was the downstairs guest room, just filled with uh, SpongeBob the Square, SpongeBob SquarePants, not SpongeBob the SquarePants. Yeah, he ain't that fancy. He's been pretty fancy in some episodes. Like when he took Pearl to prom. Oh yes, that was so fancy. It was pretty fancy. Nah, don't obey. You know, that's a pretty big oversight, you know. Now it's that... Plankton! He's not smart, and he can barely see the shit anyway. <coughs> <coughs> and this be will, Karen, his robot, right? Set it to that. Cause she doesn't fucking obey. Another perfect day playing robots and race horses. Yeah. Oh yeah, keep getting the race horses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great? Yeah, I used to really like SpongeBob and then I always felt like the show kinda went downhill after the movie. Mm. Like I've seen some modern SpongeBob and it's just it doesn't have any, it doesn't feel like it has any of that same charm that the uh, you know pre movie had. Okay, okay, but also think about the fact that you're now old. Well, no, like you can still be old and enjoy cartoons. Yes, but you go back and watch Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and what do you see? You see nothing but a bunch of problems, and this is coming from someone who loves Ed, Ed, and Eddie. It's nothing is nearly as bad as what they did to Fairly Odd Parents. Oh. No, nothing's nearly as bad as Teen Titans Go. We don't talk about Teen Titans Go. I believe we just did, and are. Teen Titans Go was a mess. I okay. mean, the movie, they went back in time and made sure Bruce Wayne's parents died. But if that's, <laughs> what, if, if that's what's funny, like, okay, it was funny, but, like, if that is the only thing that you can, like, look at the show and be like, oh, man, that's funny... I, you, you, I feel like you failed as a show. Yeah. A lot of things fail. God, this cold is driving me insane. Sinus is still? I thought I was over it, and all of a sudden I'm having more symptoms again. How do you decide, wake up one morning and decide that would be your alarm clock? It's Spongebob! Like, I get it, but like... Alright, let's get into gameplay. Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think nah, we're gonna pickles. have to learn a lot in order to... I like pickles. What a fantastic idea! Um, how do I read the signs? You know a game I would really love to do for this channel? Mm. Simpsons Hit and Run. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, 
Just walk up you wouldn't have to be the one to play it. Yeah, but I'd have to be the one watching it. So I can make fun of you. Yeah. And I make fun of you enough as is. I don't know. I think it's a game we can add to our list someday. <laughs> okay. Yes, the list that's bad. already huge. Yeah, well. We still have to, let's, you know, actually finish in a series, you know, still really bummed we can't finish the Sly Cooper series at the moment. Yeah, well, Sony is Sony. Well, we're going to all talk to customer support tomorrow, and we will uh, talk further about that. Maybe a little bit of the Fresh underpants. You don't need them because you're not hurt lately. Lately? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's be real. You're going to get hurt. Okay. So, uh, but yeah. Okay, why is your closet by the front door? Like, seriously, it should be in your bedroom. Yeah, I'm, SpongeBob has a full-on library in his house, I think. No, and... he has a library where his closet should be in his bedroom. I mean, he has a typewriter here in the kitchen. That's a little weird. No, it's not. People write in the kitchen all the time. Okay, but here's another weird thing. Like, his Imp bathroom is here next to the kitchen, but his bedroom is, what, right here? You know what? They took inspiration from a New York, a New York, um... Apartment? Apartment. There we go. I was trying to think of words. You mean a shoebox? No, that's a walk-up. I that I'm thinking of Japan. I've heard horror stories about how small Japanese apartments are. You're polluting well, my thinking space. Yeah, they don't that need that much room. Again, eh? well, you won't get away That's with true. They're constantly either at school or at work or improving themselves, unlike us who sit at home and play video games. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though. And you are missing so much stuff inside the house. Well, how can you afford to buy anything with the salary Mr. Krabs pays his people? He lives in a fucking pineapple, but you're missing shit inside Spongebob's house, Tyler. What do you mean I'm missing? Like, collectibles? Yes! No, there wasn't anything else. I went through there. We will go back and look. Alright, let's go back inside. Apparently I missed something. You did. Go to the bedroom. I went to the bedroom. Okay. Go through that door. Uh, this is where I I See, this is the library I was talking about. Yeah. I was. I forgot about you this room. You hit those. I was seeing there was making sure there's nothing to jump on first. Sometimes pushing a simple button. There is. is you just have push, to hit a button. Push, push, push. Button, button. Who's got the button? Alright. I think we need shiny things for Mr. Krabs and to buy other things. Mostly to buy other things. I know uh, Patrick will give us golden turkey basters. Let's see. What is this? Uh, okay, I already know how to do the triangle attack. I know most of these moves already. Random ball? Yeah, I'm gonna want to get on top of that, I think, if I remember correctly. Ow. I can't see. Like, is there a reason? For no? Is it just so I can get up here? Uh, oh, there's another switch. Okay. Push the ball over here. Um. Slap. Oh, it's because there's a sock up there. Ta da, but you have like. What, 30 seconds to get to it? It's about yep. to figure out how to get to the first platform, right? Uh huh. This is where I keep all my old comic books. Is it here, maybe? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to start over. Um... No. Nope. Okay, now I think I got it. Congratulations. Read. Okay. And now I believe. Well, besides the chest and, you know, stuff no, on top of it. There's nothing even in the chest. Um, break all the furniture. Can't. 
see? I thought you could. I think that's Squidward's house. Mm, Let's yeah. go bug Squidward. Oh, by the way, you want something on top of Squidward's house. Yeah, and also a, on top of your house. Yeah, there's a golden spatula. I know about those ones. <coughs> <coughs> oh, you know about those ones, but you don't remember everything well, else. I go explore inside, you know, outside. I didn't think to go... I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're bubble going buddy. to buy some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension. And I hate but, bubbles. Uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get... Oh, yeah. We need to journey to the ninth uh, dimension and feed the giant the monkey man. Uh huh. Right. Press this button and you'll launch yourself. Okay. So we know we do all that. Okay. Make a Viking helmet. Which fun fact? I assume you actually had a fun fact. Vikings didn't wear horns on their helmet. Yeah. You have to sneak up on those ones. I was going to do those. Stop. I was. I'm gonna start with the ones that needed to be blown up first. There. Happy. Okay. So I need 15 gold spatulas to go through there. Go here and break these. And those are done. 10 to go there. Break these. I think this is when he offers. Hey, Patrick. Nice socks. What socks? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost. Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. Who collects socks? Just the back. same guy who walks around in those color shorts. Sure and also eats patty. Crabby patties at 3 a.m. Who eats a Krabby patty at 3 a.m.? Oh boy, 3 a.m. Okay then, for every 10 socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean, spatula? Bless you. <laughs> for every 10 socks, we get a golden turkey baster. Okay. No, don't, don't, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. I think there's a switch in Patrick's house. We want to talk about simplistic and the Spartan lifestyle. Patrick lives it. His furniture is literally made out of sand. It's also the same guy who loves a box that has a secret. Which had a secret compartment Ugh. that held an embarrassing photo of Spongebob at the Krusty Krab Christmas party. Huh. I think you were a little too interested. Uh, that was actually my favorite episode because that was the episode with Band Geeks. I love the Band Geeks episode. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push so I always smiled. Re I always got really happy when that episode came on. Just like I liked the episode of uh, Fairly Odd Parents where with Chip Skylark and they did Icky Vicky. I like the crossover, the Timmy Jimmy Power The Timmy hour. Jimmy Power Hour. There was like three different ones, too. Ooh, so that means we get a fourth pair of underwear. Hey, you know where that underwear is? In my house. Yep. But we'll get another one later. Okay. So that triggers that. So now we're got we have 30 seconds to run over here. Now we have to wait for it to come back. Uh, one year for my friend's birthday, I uh, had to get him a birthday present. Didn't know what else to get Shocker. him. Shocker! I didn't know what to get him, so I gave him the uh, all three in one DVD of the Jimmy Timmy Power Hours. Nice. He enjoyed it. But, you know, kind of looking back on it, I question the kind of taste we had as kids when it came to TV shows. Jimmy Neutron is amazing. Oh, no, Jimmy Neutron was great, but there was some other questionable shows out there. Questionable shows out at the time. No. No, there wasn't. I mean, let's see. Don't. There was my gym partner's a monkey. You could have picked up the extra pair of underwear inside your house since you have a fourth area. Yeah, and it's fine. 
because there's one right there. And now we always know where there's going to be a backup pair of underwear. That's not the point. You're going into this freaking level. <coughs> Run down, you dumbass. <coughs> Can we talk about how most people, most adults I know nowadays relate to Squidward more than anyone else? You know, it's, even though the Krusty Krab probably pays poorly, at least he gets away with telling customers what he really thinks. I related to Squidward in high school. Hey, are you okay? No, and middle school. Okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look good. Actually, I think I've always been a Squidward. Usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh, you're bald. So are you, SpongeBob. But now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off the scale, Sport Mountain, and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here. Bald up here. A bit excruciating pain. pain. You do that. I think they can read it. Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. You know, this show did make me wonder about the idea of putting jelly on a hamburger. It has to be jellyfish jelly. Well, okay, but like, jellyfish jelly is clearly just jelly. Mm. But they get it from, you know, jellyfish. How can it just be jelly there? Robot okay. coming up on you. I got it. And it killed the jellyfish. How could you? How do you how else do you get jelly jellies for jellyfish jelly? There's a sock over there. I'm getting it. wait, where? Up there? No. In the middle of the water. Don't actually jump into the water. I know that. That's there's got to be a way to get that, right? No. Mm. Uh, it's something with the teleport box. Which you can't have access to yet. Can I make it? No, you cannot. It was worth a shot. And now you're down two pairs of underwear. Congratulations. Actually, I think that just takes me down an entire life. Wait, there's no life system. No, there's underwear. Yeah, and it doesn't mess with my underwear. Does it? We'll find out. Uh, resets all the shinies, at least. Uh, we should have talked to Mr. Krabs now that I think about it. Yeah, I have full underwear now, Liz. If anything, that did us a favor. And there's another pair of underwear. And yet another one. I don't know why you're so worried about running out of it. Running you missed out. a shiny. Right there? Up there. Up here? Oh, I see it now. And we'll grab these ones down here. Is this one up there? No? Am I stuck now? Get up on the high rock. You can't. There we go. Ah. Okay, more things. So apparently there's a new poster out for the uh, new Doctor Strange movie. Mm. And it looks really good. Mm. I don't know, it had like, you know, it has Doctor Strange, then he's like broken into pieces, kind of like, you know, every multiverse trailer has that's come out this year. Mm -hmm. But at the center of it is uh, a little, little red being that looks like Wanda, kind of implying that uh, Wanda is the center of it, which, you know, makes sense. Alright, we got another sock. That's where we go bungee jumping, I think? Yep. Okay. And at the bottom is a spatula. Does it have port and starboard attachments? And turbo drive? Alright. 
Thank God. Don't need it. Okay. Um, let's go this way. In another tutorial, which is just about checkpoints. Not really a tutorial. It's a tutorial. That's what those signs are for. They're not really a tutorial. It's just, it hey, look, this is a checkpoint. Use yeah, this. Yeah, which is a tutorial. No, not really. How a tutorial it? holds your hand and goes, hey, no. you're an idiot. This is how you rock, walk and run. Yeah. It, and blah, blah, blah. And Oh, yeah, you can't skip me. Okay. I hope there's more to spend. <clears throat> there's more that we can spend these full shiny things, these shiny things on later. Yeah, that's how you unbox things. There we go. Uh, where do you go? Nothing? All the way up there. You don't have the bubble boots yet. Yeah, I do. Oh. Smack, smack, smack. I think I've only ever... I think I played this game on Game Boy as a kid, um, and I hated it. It was on GameCube, it. I thought. No, it was also on Game Boy, but it was a side-scroller mm. platformer. Um, I could never beat the first boss because I didn't under, understand how you were supposed to beat the bosses in that game. Um, and actually, I hated... You know, I think really, you know, coming to terms with it, there's very few games I actually enjoyed on... Uh, I think you need to be. I think I need Sandy to get over there, don't I? No. Can I just double jump that? No. Not that. Go up. There's a jumpy thing that gets me over there, isn't there? Ow. No, that's a blowfish. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You know, Percy's stuck down. It's blowfish. Or yeah. blowfish. That's what I said. Anyways, um, but no, I play. Uh, but the only other SpongeBob game I played on console uh, was my cousins had uh, the Flying Dutchman game. Mm. And remember correctly, that one wasn't very good. To be fair, I don't think any of the SpongeBob games were very good until Battle for Bikini Bottom. I don't even oh, remember this one. Not true. Uh, there was a great. Uh, we used to be my best friend at the time. Uh, Cougar. This was before I met you. Uh, <gasps> we had played SpongeBob SquarePants the movie uh, until we had basically until like there was there was no replayability okay. left in it. You should go back down there. I was going to. I was going to go bungee jumping really quick and grab the spatula since you know it's right here. Yeah, you decent enough. It's like that. See, it's not hard. It's not rocket science. And I got a gold spatula. Woo. <clears throat> nope. Oh yeah. Not rocket science. I went the wrong way. The camera flipped on me. Uh-huh. <coughs> Congratulations. Okay. You said go this way? Yes. Okay. Let's grab the underwear. Don't think nope. you need it. You died. Am I going the right way? Yes. You need to go down. I did go down. Keep going down. No. no. Up there. They're just checking. Kill a robot. Kill a robot. Like that? Yes. Now, jump on the barrel. Why? Well, no, never mind. Okay. Try to get up there. Can't. There is some way. I remember how. I just need to remember how to. <laughs> I mean, if I had Sandy, I could just cross over. I could just hover over there. But then again, I don't know if you can bring Sandy back over here. No, no. Yeah. I'm not gonna spend forever trying to just jump this little thing. Or you could, you know. What? Jump on top of the tiki thingies. I don't think that's gonna change anything. It gives you more height. Height doesn't give you distance. See? If anything, it stopped me from making it. even further stopped me from making it. That's fine, we'll figure it out later. Or we just won't get it. There's a sock over there! Yeah, and I'm sure there's a way to come back and get it. <sighs> These games that always make you go back go back after you unlock abilities. 
So there's probably an ability we get later that, you know, makes it so we have to come back. Why did I agree to do this? Because we needed a new game to play? No. Watch people play video games. I... Mm. Mm. like doing it. Yes, I like doing it, but I don't pay attention when people do it because it drives me insane because I'm one of those people who has to find everything. I like finding everything, but like, I don't... But if it ends up being too frustrating to do it, I'm not going to... I'm not going to make myself lose sleep over it. I like doing that. I hit him. Don't hit the fish! He already has enough problems! He lives in Bikini Bottom. Okay. I think we can get Patrick soon. <clears throat> He's actually probably in... Random, but okay. You know what? I wonder if being up, he up here gets us down. We'll get us over there. Bowling! We haven't un I know we haven't unlocked that yet. Okay, I think I'm in there. Okay, we'll go this way. Ooh, what's over here? Is there something down here? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I think I thought there was something down there. The answer is no. No, there is not. Okay. Let's go back this way. Where are we doing on time? Okay, I think we have enough time to make it to another checkpoint. It'd be awesome if we could make it to Patrick. Before we run out of time. Oh, man, the store's closed. So, okay. Go up here. Okay. Kill the blueprint. Jellyfish. And boom. And then now we're gonna jump here. I think you're, there's something up here if we. Underwear that I don't need. Okay. Can we talk about how that says ham on the side? Mm -hmm. It's a hammer. But it's painted like a ham. There we go. That's a good joke. I know, I just didn't. I always, for some reason, thought it was actually him. What ham has blue on it? It's SpongeBob. Like, do they want me to. Uh, that. This part of all of Sandy. Oh. I'm gonna hit that. Okay. If I remember correctly. Which I don't know if we can bring Sandy back here. I can't remember. It's been forever. Oh, uh, let's go over here. Let's do this. Nice. Bloop. Bloop. And jump. That gave us a sock. But now we have to run all the way back over there, which is kind of enough. Oh, wait. What's this do? Take you all the way back. Oh. Cool. There we go. Oh, right. And there's the teleport box. No, we just have to destroy the sky. And I'm hoping, you know what, I'm missing something. I apparently missed the giant red button. Oh. You saw that, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yup. Okay. And... Gold spatula! This is actually perfect timing. We'll go to the, jelly, to the jellyfish caves next, and we will actually end the for, end of this episode here. Now, what? Oh, 
No. I think it had something to do with the sun. Didn't the voice actor for Mermaid Man die not too long ago? I can't remember. Or am I thinking I might be thinking of Barnacle Boy? You're asking the wrong person. I have the shortest term memory in the world. And yet I can remember weird things from past. I'm weird. As much as I enjoy massaging Mermaid Man's feet. Let's do... You didn't open the checkpoint. Yeah, I did. The teleporting box that was beside Mermaid Man? No, you didn't. Well, we're about to hit checkpoint, so. That was a ton of fun. Okay. I should do it again. And so this is a good stopping point. Um, once again, sorry about the inconvenience about switching games, but um, as soon as we can, we will be going back to the Sly Cooper games. As soon as we figure out what's going on with PlayStation, with uh, the PlayStation Now system. Um, once PlayStation figures out what's going on with PlayStation. Or once PlayStation figures it out. Um, in the meantime, uh, if you like our content, like and subscribe to our channel. Um, and thanks for watching.